There is one thing that Germans will never have to live through and will never understand about living in Germany. I actually created my welcome program over on lifeingermany.com for this exact reason and that is simply because internationals, foreigners themselves, know best about how to actually relocate properly here to Germany. And that is because we have to do it an entirely different way than any German would need to do it. We require different documents for absolutely everything that we are applying for or registering for or what have you. So I actually wasn't planning on filming this video today and this is totally just unplanned. So I have no script, no plan of what I'm gonna say. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This morning, I had my appointment that I have been waiting for for one and a half years at the Ausländerbehörde. This is quite literally the worst place you can possibly go to in Germany. I kid you not. I do not wanna scare anybody who has not yet arrived to Germany, but this is the one place where you have to go in with the thickest skin that you can possibly build up because you will likely 99.9% .9 of the time be ripped to shreds. It does not matter how well prepared you are. Guys, I am the most well prepared, well organized, almost too much so that you could call it an illness, organized. I have this list of things that I had to bring with me. I color coordinated, I made notes, I have certain phone numbers that I wanted to call to double check, ask all of the questions that I needed to ask before my appointment to make sure that nothing went wrong and things went south. Things really went wrong. Surprise, surprise. I was really hoping to come bearing good news for you guys. And then I walk in and I say, hi, hello, ich habe einen Termin um 8 Uhr. And then the guy looks at me and goes, um, nein, haben Sie nicht. Apparently they switched the system last year and sent letters to everybody saying that they had we had to do it some other way and the problem last year why I didn't get my permanent residency was because I did not submit my Sprachschule Zertifikate. I didn't bring it in the original form because I thought a copy was fine and they said no 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 it has to be original. So this time I went through all my documents but brought everything everything official like even my husband's passport my child's passport are Heiratsurkunde, my son's Geburtsurkunde. I brought everything. And he says, no, I've waited a year and a half for this appointment and prepped everything. I have to say in Freiburg, it was a little bit less stressful. Back in the day, I didn't speak very much German, but I was actually able to go there on my own without any German support and get things done. They weren't super nice about it, but I understood because I was foreign and I didn't speak the language and that's annoying if you have to deal with it every day as an employee there. I get it. But here in Dusseldorf, things are a hundred times worse. And I just posted this on my Instagram story, like my emotional debut this morning in the pitch black at six o'clock in the morning about how I was so nervous to go and it's the worst place to be. And then 20 minutes later, <laughs> I come out bawling my eyes out because they've treated me like absolute garbage. I am aware, and I think all of you are probably aware, Germans included, that paperwork is a big thing here in Germany. A lot of stuff is not done online. A lot of stuff is stressful. You require way more documentation than you think you would ever need for anything. But on top of that all, the difference between the Ausländerbehörde and the Finanzamt or the Bürgerbüro or any governmental building where you go to apply or register for something, the difference between the Ausländerbehörde and the rest of them is that the employees are often very, very, very rude. They are very inconsiderate. They have very little patience. I get it. I understand that it is not nice dealing with so many foreigners every day because our German is so terrible or what have you, but it does not matter who you are. I'm not stereotyping, you know, I'm not saying that every employee is rude and inconsiderate and not thoughtful but a lot of the time they are. And now that I've been there 10 times, 
And today I posted this morning how nervous I was because I'm always treated like garbage there, like absolute trash. You literally walk out of there feeling like you are not worthy to be here in this country. And I don't know if they're trained to do it that way, but when you go up, I was speaking perfect German. I had everything planned out. I was super nice. I was saying, hello, good morning. I have an appointment at eight o'clock this morning with Mr. So-and-so. And the first thing he says to me is, nein, haben sie nicht. And then he follows up with like, yeah, guck mal hier. Also, das Papier, das Zettel, ja? Das ist von 2020. Verstehst du mich? 2020. Das ist vor einem Jahr her. Also, du hast heute kein Termin. And then I look at him, I'm like, yeah, well, what am I supposed to do, you know? Like, I have all of my documentation here. And he's like, okay, dann gib her. So I gave it to him. And I was like, okay, what are you going to do? Like, photocopy it? Nein, wir behalten das. Also, like I'm supposed to understand. So here we are today. I am there with all my original documentation in every single piece. I have brought more than enough. And then they say that today they require photocopies of every single document and that they weren't going to do it for me there. He mentioned there is 160,000 other people who want the exact same thing as you. So what do you think? I am going to sit here and I'm going to photocopy every piece of paper for you? No. I was just like, I didn't even know what to say. I was just speechless. I stood there and I was like, okay, um, thanks. Like what, what should I do? And I'm like, okay, well then. So if I'm just submitting everything that is photocopied, what do I do then afterwards? And I asked that like, exactly. And then he was like, kannst du mich nicht verstehen? Du hast heute keinen Termin. Also du hast heute keinen Termin. And I just, I just burst into tears. Like, what do you do? I'm so jealous that Germans have such thick skin because this like digs so deep. And you know what? I am so sorry for everybody who has experienced discrimination here in Germany. It is much more so a thing here in Germany than it is in Canada. And um, perhaps I didn't notice because I was Canadian, but here even I get it a lot in the wrong way. Everybody judges me and treats me differently because I'm Turkish. And you know what? I'm not Turkish, I'm Canadian. And there's nothing wrong with being Turkish even if I was. There are so many Turkish people here in Germany and they are doing phenomenal things. I don't get why people feel like they need to treat people differently. So I am so sorry that this is one of very few times that I have to experience it because I know how shitty it is and I know that there's other foreigners out there here in Germany who experience this on a daily basis. And so I cannot even imagine what they go through. I am so worked up and so upset and so hurt today at the way that people can treat you at the Ausländerbehörde and every single time I go back I dread it and today I got probably a hundred messages within the first 15 minutes of posting my story on Instagram saying Jenna I know how you feel I was in the exact same boat as you yesterday or I'm going to be in the same boat as you tomorrow or I did the same thing last year there are so many of you guys who go through the same thing and not one of you said you know what I actually met a nice person who worked at the Ausländerbehörde. Everybody else said, you know what? Don't worry, Jenna, I also walked out crying and it is not a nice feeling. So I just wanted to talk about that. I just wanted you guys to know. I mean, it's kind of interesting for the Germans watching what internationals actually go through and how it is super different and how that's something that you guys never will understand because you've probably never been to the Ausländerbehörde unless you are a partner or you're married or you have a friend who is foreign living here in Germany. You talked to my German husband about this. He was not at the appointment with me today, but he has been before and he will tell you the exact same thing. It is atrocious how differently you get treated at the Ausländerbehörde than somewhere else, even like the Bürgerbüro. And the Bürgerbüro is not the greatest place to be either, guys, but the Ausländerbehörde is 10 times worse. So takeaway tips from this, Germans, it might be interesting to know, foreigners, the best thing you can possibly do, come with this paper, be super anal about it like I am, color code everything, make sure you have everything, and then make sure you have everything in a copy. So the original version and the photocopied version, more you can't really do. I mean, you can try to call them ahead of time. The Dusseldorf one specifically doesn't even pick up. They just send you right to the answering machine and say, we don't have time to answer you, goodbye. <laughs> and that's that. So 
depending where you're going, it might be different. It might be similar. It might be even worse. I'm sorry to say, um, but just come prepared, come with a thick skin and I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. There are so many things, so many amazing things that I love about living in Germany. But today I was really excited. Like I was planning on chilling, watching Netflix for the rest of the day and eating ice cream to celebrate the fact that I will never have to go to the Ausländerbehörde again. But I probably have two or three more trips before I get to say that. So when I do get my permanent residency, you guys will be the first one to know. And I am so excited for when that day comes. But until then, Vielen, vielen lieben Dank. Thank you for listening to my rant. Und bis später.